I want to give you an example of stitching a curvy line with backstitch. So when you're stitching a straight line, it's great if your stitches can be a consistent length. But when it comes to curvy areas, the rule of thumb actually is the sharper the curve, the shorter your stitches need to be in order to stay nicely on the line. So let me show you. I'm just going to do this horseshoe shape. My first stitch can be quite nice and long because this part of the shape is actually quite straight. If I was to do another stitch the same length, I'd probably end up cutting the corner a bit. So what I'm going to do, in order to stay on the line, I'm actually going to make that stitch a little bit shorter. And don't worry, it becomes easier the more practice you have how to kind of gauge this visually. Um, so if you're a beginner and you find this really tricky, don't worry, it gets easier. So as I'm working around this really curvy part of the shape, my stitches actually need to be quite small so that I can stay on the line. Because you can imagine, if I did a stitch, like if I wanted to do a nice longer stitch and I brought my needle up there, I'd actually just cut across the top of the shape. So instead, I'm actually going to do a few lovely short stitches as I navigate my way around that really curvy part. And don't worry, when you're working on curvy shapes like this, your stitches will all end up different lengths, and that's totally okay and expected. So I've done three really short stitches as I work my way around there. I can start to make my stitches a little bit longer again. Um, that one wasn't quite on the line, so I'm going to reposition my needle. And that stitch is a bit longer. Just being gentle as I pull through the slack on each. And I think I can do one more that's quite short and then I'll finish with a longer one. So I guess the goal is you want your stitch to be as long as possible while still staying on the line. And this last stitch, that's basically a straight line to finish off so I can do a nice big stitch. So yes, this comes a lot easier with practice. Don't worry if you don't stay on the line as a beginner, but just as a rule of thumb, make your stitches shorter as you navigate the curves.